Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I do have a haul from Daily Charm. I do like to include these into my videos when I am getting new products. That way I can just share the new products that I picked out with you guys and you can just see new items that you may have not have known that are on the Daily Charm website. So I do quickly want to say that these items were sent over to me as PR, but I was able to pick them out myself. So with that being said, I do want to give a big thank you to Daily Charm. I have two boxes here, so we're going to start off with the smaller box, which just includes one item. And this is actually a new release from Daily Charm. They recently just launched their cuticle oils. I was very excited for this launch. It is just so fun when brands release cuticle oils, especially these cute ones from Daily Charm. I cannot wait to show you guys these, but they have like dried flowers in them and I just think these are a very cute bottle. They look super cute and I actually have them like sitting right on my desk just because I think they're so adorable. But you can buy these as a set or you can also buy them individually and they have been released so you can now purchase them on the website. The first scent here is Rose Garden and it has like some roses. The next one is Lily Field and then we also have Pony Season and just tell me how cute these are. I love the bottle. The shape of the bottle is so elegant with the flowers inside and then also the gold. On the back you can pause to read if you would like to read the back and I skimmed over the backs on the bottles and I think they do all say the same exact thing. So I think in each cuticle oil it does have like the same properties of helping your dried cuticles or your dry skin just really being able to nourish them and it does have a little dropper which is really nice. And I did smell them all. They all smelled so so good. On the website it does show like it kind of breaks down each scent so if you are wondering more in depth on how they smell you can take a look at the website. I will be linking these down below. If I did have to pick a favorite it would probably be between Pony Season and Lily Field. If I had to pick a favorite though I do love all of the scents. And of course the rose one definitely smelled like roses, but I just really found it unique on how the pony season and the lily fields, the smell of those ones were just very unique and it smelled really nice to me. They are also very light scents, they are not super overpowering, but they are still like when you rub it on your cuticles, it still like just smells so good, it makes your skin very nourished and Overall, it's just a very good smelling and a good quality cuticle oil. I am super excited to have these and I cannot wait to start using these to top off my nail sets and just finish each of my nail sets. So now let's go ahead and move on to the package where I actually picked out the items from the website. And this is about $200 worth of products from Daily Charm. I am first just going to be taking everything out of the box and then I will show you guys each and everything. Um, I did pick out a lot of gels this month just because I wanted some more like pinks and reds because we are getting into those Valentine's Day nail sets. I also picked out some charms, some rhinestones, and some stickers. So here was just an overlook of everything and then of course I will go ahead and be showing each item. Before I do start explaining what I'm showing, I do quickly want to say that I do have a discount code with Daily Charm. That code is nailed by Brandy. I will go ahead and put it up on screen and also in the description box below. But if you end up using that code, it will help me out a lot and you will also save 10% off all of your Daily Charm purchases. So the first item here are some gold charms and these are like hearts but they have like a very nice texture to them. I just thought they were very simple and classy charms. They are also not super large which I really liked because you can add them onto a shorter set and they would still look very pretty. So I wanted to pick these up. I do know that Daily Charm has so many different like heart charms, 
Valentine's Day items on their website. When I was picking out some of my favorite items, I was definitely having a very difficult time just because they really have the cutest nail art items and I just wanted like one of everything. But I did decide to go with these just because I thought they were very unique. I don't have anything like them. And I will. I think they will really make a very cute and classy Valentine's Day nail set. Especially just because they're so dainty and little. I just really like that about them. The next item, I have never ever saw anything like this before. They are gummy bears, but they are the tiniest thing ever. I was super excited about these. I think these would create a very cute like candy themed Valentine's Day set, but they are just so tiny. I think they are so adorable. I was so obsessed with these. There is a mix of different colors like green, blue, pink, yellow, orange, purple, just a little variety of different colors. And these are so tiny. Um, they would like look good on your natural nails if you're into putting charms on your natural nails. They're just that tiny. The next item, um, I am going to botch pronouncing this, but I think it's Swarovski. But they do have some of these types of crystals on their website, and I believe this one was like their Valentine's Day mix. Just a bunch of different ones. They are all flat back, but again, the size, the color, it's just a kind of like a different variety. Just a Valentine's Day theme mix. We had like some pinkish ones, some reddish ones, some like white opal-y ones. Just a very pretty mix. I also loved how there were some larger ones, but still also some very tiny ones. I also saw some heart or some star shaped ones. Just an overall a very pretty mix and I've never actually had these Swarovski crystals. I know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. You can correct me in the comment section if you want but I am not sure how to properly pronounce that. I have never actually had any crystals from that brand so I was very excited to see those and just see the quality of them overall. The next item is a cuticle oil. This is technically not the Daily Charms brand of cuticle oil like the previous ones I showed, but they do sell this brand of cuticle oil on the website. At the time when I was picking out these items, I wasn't quite sure about the release of the new cuticle oils from Daily Charm, and I wanted to get a cuticle oil off their website, and this one was perfect. It's a Valentine's Day theme one. It has some heart sequins and some also like red fine glitters in it, and it also smells like roses. The next item I picked out are some more of their Twinkle Twinkle Sparkle Sparkly Glass Rhinestones. Recently, I have been loving these rhinestones. I got them in the shade Rose, and this is a pack of 1,440 rhinestones in a various different sizes. We have the very small ones and also the larger. They are flat back, and they are the perfect rose pink color. Again, wanted to get these for Valentine's Day. I have a lot of upcoming Valentine's Day sets I want to get to, so I will be doing a lot of those types of sets coming soon to my channel. I am just so excited to do like pinks and reds and just a Valentine's Day in general. This next item I saw on their website and I just had to get them. I was so freaking excited when I saw these. I think they do also have butterflies and stars and I will definitely be going back to get those because these are fake airbrush stickers. You can use these and give the airbrush effect without needing a airbrush. This is just a sticker that you put onto your nail and it makes it look like you went through the troubles of airbrushing on a little heart sticker and peeling it away, but you do not even need an airbrush to use these, so I was very excited about it. Um, I do want to get an airbrush though. You will see after today's like nail hack design I tried, I definitely want to get an airbrush, but for this time being, there's a lot of different hacks that you can do to get that airbrush effect. So that was all of the nail art. Like I said, I wanted to pick up some more gel polishes, which are considered their charm gels, and I picked out one collection. This is the Dainty Shimmer Collection, and it does include six lightly shimmered gels, which you'll see in a minute here. These are 15 ml bottles and I absolutely love charm gels. 
They are one of my top three favorite gel polishes. They are just such good quality. I love using them. They are so opaque and they are also very pretty and trendy. I love how they release like very trendy polishes. For example, their holographic twinkle collections. We just know those are super trendy, super beautiful. So I just love that Daily Charm picks up on those very trends, like the very fun trends. And this Dainty Shimmer collection here, I was kind of stuck between two different collections, which one I wanted to pick, but I did decide to go with this one here and I fell in love with this collection. It has some of the prettiest colors and also this collection would be perfect for Valentine's Day nail sets. I just think the colors are so gorgeous. Also, the light little shimmers and glitters in these polishes are very, very pretty. They are not really reflective, but of course, if you do shine your phone flash on them or go out in the sun, your nails will definitely sparkle and give off that like dainty shimmer effect, which I really loved. I will also be showing the swatches for these. I did decide I would go ahead and swatch off camera just because this is a longer video with the haul and also me doing a nail set. So I went ahead and swatched off camera, but I wanted to show the polishes out of the bottles. So that is what I'm going to be doing. And then I will come back and show these swatches. I really, really love these colors. They are so pretty and I highly recommend you trying out some charm gels from Daily Charm. I just know you'll fall in love immediately. So those were the six shades from the Dainty Shimmer collection from the Daily Charm charm gels. For the next box here, this is not a collection from Daily Charm. These are just colors that I picked out that can be bought separately. I am pretty sure with even the collections from Daily Charm, you can purchase those colors separately as well. I am not 100% sure, but I think for some collections, they may have that option. These colors here are just some of the ones that are sold separately and you don't have to purchase them in a collection. So basically, just a couple different colors here. I think I picked out like four or five, but I will go ahead and be linking all of the items that I am using and also all of the items that I did show down in the description box below. And don't forget, if you do want to purchase anything, you can use my discount code Nailed by Brandy to save 10% off your purchase. I also do want to say that if they have any other sales that do have a greater discount, feel free to take advantage of using that code instead. But if you do decide to go with that code, it would still help me out if you would use my referral link when you are purchasing. I do earn a small commission and it really helps me out and I am so thankful for each and every one of you that does decide to purchase something and end up using my code or my referral link. So I do just want to give a big thank you to everyone. This color here I fell in love with. I really like this nude. I love that it's kind of like a cover nude where it's like a jelly type color. Super beautiful, but that was those four charm gels. Again, those can and those colors can all be purchased individually on the website. Here are the swatches for those four colors. Absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day. We have a very pretty red, a dusty rose, a nice nude, and also a hot pink color. I just think these four colors go so nicely together. For the Dainty Shimmer Collection, here are the swatches for these. All of the gel polishes, I also forgot to mention, are two coats of the gel polish and also the Daily Charm Diamond Shine Top Coat. This collection is very beautiful. I love the whites, the pinks, the purple, the brown, the like... Um, kind of like a champagne color, just an overall very beautiful collection, and I love all of my new charm gels. I always think it's super exciting to pick out new items from the Daily Charm website just because I really do adore their products. So that was everything in the haul. Now let's go ahead and jump into the nail set. I did go ahead and uh, put on my UV glove and then I applied some full cover nail tips using the gel extension method. For those, I went ahead and did all of my sealing, filing, and buffing, and now we are ready to begin the nail set. 
Today I am going to be trying a TikTok airbrush nail hack using a straw. I will go ahead and once I get to that pop up the TikTok video and show you guys the creator and all of that. But for now, I am just going to be applying my base color. For my base color, I decided to go with that nude that I swatched in the four colors. This one was just so pretty. I fell in love after I swatched it. I think this one may be one of my top nude gel polishes. I feel like anytime I get a nude, I either love it or I hate it. And this one I definitely love. I just think it's so nice and I like how it's kind of a little bit jelly or transparent. I just recently have been loving that with my like color based nudes. So this color here, I am just going to be applying one coat and then curing for 30 seconds. And then I will go ahead and apply my second coat and cure for 30 seconds. I really hope that you guys are enjoying the video. I'm going to go ahead and let this play out, but if you are enjoying, please make sure you subscribe, give the video a like, it really helps me out a lot, and if you're feeling generous, leave a comment below. So here are how the nails are looking after the two coats of the nude gel polish is applied. Like I said, I adore this nude. I absolutely fell in love with it. I just think it is one of the prettiest nudes I have ever seen. I will also be doing the same exact thing to my thumb, but I usually do that as an Instagram reel. If you are not following me over on Instagram, it is Nailed by Brandy, and you should definitely go follow me. I will go ahead and pop the TikTok hack up on screen that I am going to be trying to do today. I did try this in a previous video that was a pretty long time ago. I think like around like maybe Valentine's Day last year. I'm not 100% sure, but I didn't really like how those nails turned out. So I definitely wanted to try it again. But this time I saw the TikTok from Gabriana Nails. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her name, but I will go ahead and pop her TikTok up on screen. Um, I know a lot of people have done this. I am not sure who to directly credit for making this up or like coming up with this hack or anything like that. But I do want to go ahead and credit her just because I saw her TikTok and that's what made me want to try this again, remembering back to the previous time I tried it. So like I said, her TikTok will be up on screen. You can basically get an idea of for like the hack that I'm going to be trying to recreate doing. So firstly, I wanted to start off by putting my gel polish colors out on my nail palette here. This nail palette is also from Daily Charm. I love using silicone nail art palettes. I just think it's so much easier to wipe the gel up off of them. Even if I get a little lazy after doing my nails and I leave my gel polish on there, which is a secret. Don't tell anybody that I do that. But if I end up doing that, it is even if I let it sit until the next day, it is super easy to still clean and get up off of there. So definitely pick up those um, silicone palettes from Daily Charm. If you haven't already, they are a total lifesaver. So I did go ahead and show each of the gel polishes that I did end up using, and those were the only ones that I will be using to create this airbrush effect. To start off, I am applying a top coat using the Daily Charm Diamond Shine Top Coat. 
and keep in mind you do not want to cure that top coat you kind of want it to be your base layer for the effect to kind of help like spread out the colored gels you can also use blooming gel if you want I did decide just to go with the top coat though but I feel like I also need to try doing this with blooming gel just to see if I get any type of different effect after I applied a nice layer of that top coat, I am now just taking a liner brush and I put down my colors and then I will be taking a straw and just blowing the gel polish going up the nail. This was so much fun. I had a lot of fun doing this. Honestly, I would not recommend doing this on your clients if you are a nail tech and do nails. I feel like maybe if they're okay with it, you could do it, but you are blowing like blowing into the straw so I feel like it is a little bit unsanitary but since I am doing this on myself obviously it doesn't matter because it's my breath going on my body so I didn't care and I feel like doing this on yourself no big deal but if you do want to try this out of course you can just do this with a airbrush I feel like I totally have to get one of those I do not have one but for the time being this hack was definitely amazing um, I feel like if you had just looked at the nails you would not have known that I did not use an airbrush and I used a straw instead it was also very easy I really did not have to blow hard on the straw at all. One downfall though, it may be a little bit disgusting, but with blowing in the straw on all of my nails, it did hold in that moisture. And when I was getting to like the pinky, it was blowing out some water droplets. So to kind of avoid that, I would recommend maybe using a different straw on each finger. That way that like moisture doesn't get built up in the straw. It did not ruin the nail design whatsoever, but I did just want to go ahead and mention that. That way, if you guys try it, you do know that it may be a better idea to use a different straw for each nail. That way, that moisture doesn't get built up and you don't get water droplets on your design. So while I was talking there, I did go ahead and finish up my index finger. Before curing, you do want to make sure that you wipe the sides of your nail. If you do not, the nail will come out looking super bulky and just having a lot of excess gel on the sides of it. So make sure you are cleaning your skin around your cuticle and also wiping the sides of your nail to remove any of that gel that's making you lose your nail shape. And then I did go ahead and cure the nail for 60 seconds just because I knew I had a lot of gel applied and I didn't want it not to cure fully. So I did go ahead and just do a cure of 60 seconds and then as you can see here I am just moving directly onto my next nail. This was a very quick, easy, and super fun process. I just love how it makes each and every nail look super unique. It's super fun and you kind of just get to play around and have fun with it. So um, I did just go ahead, move on to the next nail, applying that top coat, not curing, and then just putting down those gel colors and using my straw to blow it and really get it into the way I want it to look. I feel like using these colors that I did pick out today were very good colors to use for this. Um, I'm sure some color combinations may create a very muddy brown look to it. So do keep that in mind if you end up picking colors and your marble ends up looking a little bit muddy or like turning like blending all the colors together making it look brown. But definitely the colors I picked out, it worked really well and it turned out super cute. I'm just going to go ahead and let the rest play out. I will be finishing up this nail and also doing my pinky on camera. After I was finished with all of the nails, here are how they are looking. I love these so, so much. I think they are turning out super cute. 
but I did want to add a, a little something more and of course I had to use these airbrush stickers because this whole hack is how to get a airbrush effect or an airbrush look without needing to have or needing to purchase a airbrush. So these stickers were so perfect. I'm so glad that Daily Charm sells these on their website. So I'm just going to be using these fake airbrushed heart stickers and just putting them all over the nails. I did about two to three on each nail, just kind of spacing it out a little bit. One thing I did realize, of course, is when I put it over the white gel polish, it didn't look as good compared to if I put it over the nude or the pink gels. It just looked a lot better and like kind of like stood out and really made it look like that airbrush effect. So of course, do keep that in mind. I think these would look super, super awesome on a darker like twinkle holographic flash gel. I think that would look so amazing, but I am just going to be placing these stickers. I'm going to go ahead and let that play out because really there isn't much to explain. I do want to say though that these stickers are amazing quality. They are super sticky. Once you have them placed in a spot, you are not getting them up. So do keep that in mind that when you are placing it, you place it exactly where you want it because you are going to struggle to try to get that sticker back up just because of how sticky and the good quality these are. So I will just be putting these stickers on the rest of the nails and then I will come back to finish off this set. After I had all of the stickers on, here are how the nails are looking. Those stickers just added a nice little touch to the nails. I really liked it. I am now going to be topping these nails off with the Diamond Shine Top Coat. I also do know that um, Daily Charm has a 5-in-1 strengthening gel, and I was going to apply that first, but I just decided to save that product since I wasn't going to be wearing these nails. I didn't really feel like I needed it. But if you are doing your nails and want them to be super strong and super smooth, I would highly recommend first going in with that 5-in-1 strengthening gel, curing that, and then applying your Diamond Shine Top Coat. I went ahead and just applied the top coat. I then cured for 30 seconds. I think these nails would also look super good matte, but I just wanted to stick with glossy since I do like glossy nails better. After the top coat was cured, I now picked out one of the cuticle oils. I believe this one was Pony Field or Pony Season. I think that's the name for it. It smelled so good. I'm applying that to my cuticles to nourish them and of course like I always say top off the nail set and this cuticle oil just smelled so good it was very refreshing nourishing and just made my skin feel so soft and nice I also just love the smell of it but here are the finished result of the nails I really like these nails I highly recommend you guys trying out this nail hack I think it's so fun and you can really get a very unique and creative nail set. I just really like how each and every nail is different. You can make it look how you want it to look. You can pick out any different colors that you want to use and there are just so many ways that you can make this nail set unique in your own way. I really hope that you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget I do have a discount code with Daily Charm that will be in the description box along with all of the products that I did show and use in today's video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. <music>